9432582 i will give in the chart panel if you want 3258 204 password is 4217 urdi what we discussed yesterday yeah manual creation yeah anybody done the exercise by seeing the slide okay urdi i am going to connect to you you can Oh, I think it's not working. I think they replaced it. Yes. Okay, one did it create. Okay, okay, okay. I understand that. Yeah, yeah. So, please, uh, some no one remaining guys, please use your local mission of software. I think server may not be ready. Okay. And one, you can use mine. Okay. motor connection yeah, yeah. i am going to give i am going to give one second if anybody don't have that uh, mdb file please save it now yeah i know because uh, mdb files are uh, we need to pay to what is the connection to your local vmware software level and that is better if you are given that better if you are not given Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Then you can ask them. Just tell me one. I understand. I understand that you have to you have to download these files and it has to place there and you have to create a body basic connection. From there you have to create a new universe and you have to create a new bio connection. The same procedure is same. you have to follow these many steps then only the current will be appear you have to create okay yeah that's better that's better that's better thank you people okay sorry you were okay <laughs> so it's okay it's okay so class yeah so anybody why we are creating class and objects manually what are the reasons Business technology names are required. Okay, one second. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Minimizing the structure instead of taking the entire information from the table, we are taking the required information. Okay, then one more. Very good. If you want to use the functions and the calculations, we can go for the manual creation. then that is class and objects and object level restriction so what is the meaning of restriction how many types of restrictions i can apply very good nothing but where class restriction is nothing but where class very good how many types of restrictions we can apply in the universe designing level what are those No, no. Object level restriction, table level restriction, object level restriction, and table level restriction. Object level restriction is what and how to apply. Anybody? Yeah, what is that? What is object level restriction? Something is done in the screen. Yeah? That's okay. What is that? object level object level restriction yeah if you want yeah exactly if you want to apply a condition to the respective object respective object then i can say it's a object level restriction how to apply in the object properties window below of a select box of select box we have 
their box, then there I can apply the restriction. If I want to use the where of their box or where condition, what are the requirements? Field or object, then operator, then operand. Object, operator, operand. For example, here equal to 2002. Example, object, operator, operand. That is the where box we have to use. There is a drawback. If you want to apply a restriction to an object, what is the drawback? For every restriction, we need to create number of objects. That means structure is increasing. Instead of minimizing, it is increasing. So it's not the good structure. Then we have a workaround. What, I, what, what is that workaround? That is the conditional object. So conditional objects are two types. One is static condition, another one is dynamic condition. Static condition means what? Nothing but fixed operand value. Nobody can change the report level. If you define one time, then it is fixed. Nobody can change. So your conditional object's property will contain only where box. Your object's will contain that definition, data type, parameters, it can different differently, but conditional objects will contain only where box. Okay? Vani. Hello, Vani. Yes, I will please connect the server. One second, I will connect and I will give to you. Please go to the start menu. Please use the designer. Give the universe name. Uh, here we have a password. Please provide the password. For the administrator, click on OK. Here we have the password for the administrator. Please provide the password. Please provide the password. I already given to you. One second, I will, I will answer one second. Yeah, carry on. Cancel. Go to the file menu, create a new one. Provide the inverse name as conditional objects. Universe name as conditional object. Use the default connection that is e fashion. Default connection. E fashion you can use. Just to press E otherwise. Click on OK. So the first step is completed. Save the inverse. Save it. OK. Second step. Add the required tables. Only one table is enough to me. Insert. Table. Calendar table you can take. Calendar. Only that table is enough. Insert. OK. Close this. Drag and drop to the automatically left hand side. Class and object will create. Okay. Do we need the third step? Do we need the fourth step? Do we need the third step and do we need the fourth step? Why? Very good. There is one there is only one table. There's no need of join, no need of loop concept. Okay. Save it. 
save it and uh, come to the desktop intelligence. Use the desktop intelligence. Please create the report using your universe. It's coming very slowly. Yes. Create a new report. Begin. Next, what is the universe name? Conditional object. Use the inverse name, conditional object, finish. So we can create the report. Let us suppose here, run the report, we got the data. But if we expecting only 2000, then what will you do? If it is common for all the end users, then we can go for the object level restriction. If it is common for all the people. We can apply here. How to apply object level restriction? Field is required. Operator is required. Then operand value. Click on OK. Apply and OK. If you save the universe, come to the report level. Reflect the change, what I have done. Now the refresh the report. I will get only 2000. Okay? If it is common for all the people, then go for the object level restriction. If it is not common, if we have different different restrictions, then don't do object level restriction. Remove that. So they have given work here. Like a object, we have a one more radio button. That is conditional object radio button. If you write it here, I can create a condition. In my object span, if I right click, I can create an object. Object contain lot of tabs and lot of operations. But the conditional object will contain only where box. Whatever the where box you want to define to your object, whatever the where box, the same where box is going to apply. It appear here. Same where box. Double arrow option. Same fields are required, objects are required, operators, operand value. So this is fixed. Then it is static value. Fixed operand value. In the operand side, I have entered a value. Then that is static. In the report creation level, if I use that static condition, nobody can change that. Now if you refresh, I will get all the data because we removed the restriction. Truthy expecting only 2000 data. Then she can use that condition. She will get only the respective data only. If you refresh the report multiple times, the value will not be changed because we provide the fixed operand value. But Vruddhi is the end user. She expecting, I want to give my required value while report refreshing time. If I am refreshing, it is fixing. It is fixed. I want to give some other value, 2001. I want to see time 99 value. Then, that is dynamic. That is the dynamic condition. The dynamic condition advantage, the end.